Hi, Ben. You're late. Actually, it's 6.31 and 42. Make that 43 seconds. Punctuality is very important to me, big head. You'll learn that in time. So, what's the hurry there, Ben? Making up a lost time, little hand. That's the hurry. 219,000 hours, 31 minutes, 59.9 seconds. Behind bars. Lost. Up to Benny? 25 years, my shapely hourglass. 25 years. 25 years of listening to a leaky sink. 25 years of my heart keeping the beat. Boom, 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 boom. 25 years to make me the human metronome I am today. Uh, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. 25 years! But the countdown is over. I've served my time. will be here in 7 minutes, 21.3 seconds. Their usual response time. But what are you waiting for? The clock is ticking. So am I. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Attention any unit in the vicinity of the Phoenix Institute. Respond to the burglar alarm. That's one alarm I can't hit the snooze button on. Access lair. Hurry, hurry. We don't want to go to jail on a trivial charge of breaking. And entering, do we? No. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Black Scorpion. And you are? Wait, wait. Let me guess. The Watchmaker, Father Time, or the Minuteman? Try clockwise. <laughs> of day, Darcy Walker is a cop. But in the dark of night, she becomes Black Scorpion. Doing with a mask what she can't do with a badge. forward and make her fall back I may be little but I'm fast not fast enough. 
The clocks weren't the only things the Swiss made bigger and better. Your time has run out clockwise. Impossible. When you're the man of the hour, not to mention minutes and those all important seconds. I can't believe you let this clock face get away. It's clockwise, and Captain, I didn't just let him get away. It was just... What? Just bad timing. If it happens again, you're gonna find yourself walking prisoners to the bathroom, or else checking city dump for severed body parts, or whatever else I can think of to make you regret the day you became a police officer. Why is he in such a bad mood? If you board wants me to retire. How do you know? He tapped his phone. What? That's illegal. So call a cop. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? What'd they say? They give him a reason? Guys, the woman on the phone said he was getting a little too old to do his job. <laughs> Apparently his wife has said the same thing. <laughs> okay, enough. Walker, let's go question Dr. Phoenix. Find out what clockwise stole. Yeah, he stole microchips, 14 of them in all. What are they used for? The chromogenetic velocirator. Doc, English, please. Uh, of course. Yeah, the microchips produce sonic waves, which stimulate the cerebral cortex, speeding up the flow of neurons, which in turn convince the brain that the body is aging. Mind over matter. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. The, the organs then react accordingly, uh, accelerating the aging process. It's why uh, my clones are always generated as fully developed human specimens instead of um, uh, embryos. Doc, hmm. how would Clockwise know any of this? Well, he probably read my interview in Popular Genetics. Yeah. Well, I, I got the cover story. What do you think? Huh? It's not a bad picture. Of, of, of me, I mean. Yeah, the uh, mutant of the month is a little cross-eyed. Them, except for the one in the middle. Doc, is it possible that Clockwise could reverse your invention and make himself younger? No, no, it's, uh, it's not that simple, detective. You see, the first rule of genetics is... Um, is... Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, that uh, living organisms get older, not younger. All the chronogenetic velocirator does is expedites the course of nature. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that Clockwise wouldn't try to reverse it. Well, he can try all he wants. He will never succeed. He must want those chips for another reason. Why do you say that? Because Clockwise doesn't strike me as someone who wastes time. Prison. Yeah, well, we're almost finished with these clocks here, boss. I... Yeah, the clocks, I prefer to think of them as tokens of my depreciation. Twelve, 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 one for each of the detestable dozen that found me guilty. Guilty of what? Crime. I never committed. Hey, watches, all kinds of watches. I got time in my hands. Hey, lady, how about a watch? I like a beautiful watch. Uh, oh, you like the coat, don't you? Yeah. I got gold watches, silver watches, any kind you want, huh? Oh, come on. Well, well come on, break up. Hey, listen, the holidays are coming, all right? Don't press it like the time, huh?
watches, watches, big watches, Sorry. little watches. Uh, give me a break. Now, how about buying the coat then, will you? Hey, hey, look, 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 I got one. No, thanks. What's up, what? Hey, back them on. Believe Please, freeze! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, I don't know what it looks like to you, but there was an accident, all right? I swear, there was an accident. I ran over here to make sure the guy was all right. He took off. He dropped all this money. What am I supposed to do? Huh? I gotta pick it up? Well, you'd do the same thing, wouldn't you? Come on, look, I'll put the money back, all right? I don't need the money. Huh? Oh, come on, you gotta believe me. Huh? Officer, listen, you, you wanna buy a watch? Boy, you sure got a bum rap, boss. Yeah, well, that's all in the past. I can't turn back the hands of time, but perhaps I can turn them forward a bit. Forward? Now, that's what those solar microchips are for. When my cogs go off, They'll send out a sonic wave that'll prematurely age those judgmental jurors. But I thought we were gonna steal stuff. We are, my beautiful hourglass, we are. We're gonna steal from them what they stole from me. Time. It's all about time. Yo, lady, hey. Yes? You got the right time? Your clock is two minutes slow. You sure? Of course I'm sure. My watch says it's four on the dot, and my watch is never wrong. Now go ahead, correct the time. You got it. usually buy clocks. Yeah, but my friend, this is an antique. What's it gonna cost me? Oh, more than you know. What'd you say? I said, oh, maybe 40 or so. Keep you waiting, sir. Sorry it's not good enough, old man. Couldn't agree with you more, sir.
roll on, big head. I've got an idea. Well? Use the alarm clocks. sooner or later, baby. Yeah, but will you still love me when I'm old and wrinkly? Of course I will. How wrinkly we talking? Like a raisin. And I might start to sag. And if I fall and need a hip replacement, then you'll have to wheel me around in a wheelchair. So how about it? If I became an old, wrinkly, sagging raisin with a plastic hip that needed to be pushed around a wheelchair, would you still love me? Of course I will, baby. I love you just like my granny. Your granny? Yeah. I'd come visit you every Sunday. Mwah. Visit me where? In the rest home. Where else? I knew it. The first gray hair I get, you're gonna dump me for some bouncy, bikini-wearing beach bunny that's half your age. You really think I can get one of those? You're not gonna live long enough to find out. Man, I can't believe Tender Lovin' kicked me out of my own apartment. You compared her to your grandmother. What did you expect her to do? I don't know. Knitting me a sweater? <laughs> Very funny. I thought it was. But seriously, were you joking when you said those things to her? I don't know. I mean, I just can't imagine my old lady being my old lady, you know? I just, I don't know. What do you think, Blue? Blue. Hey, hello. Are you listening to huh? me? Sorry. I'm just a little distracted right now. Doing what? Cross-referencing the names of the 12 people that Clockwise targeted. Why? Because if I can figure out what they have in common, I think I'll be able to figure out what makes clockwise tick. I think you just found your answer. All of clockwise's victims served on the same jury. The People versus Benjamin Tickerman. Tickerman? Yeah. I think he's really clockwise. Look, I got his file right here, Cap. I uh, know, I don't need to see his file. You probably can't see the file without his glasses. You should talk. Cap, it says here that Tickerman served 25 years in Pearl Gate Correctional Facility for armed robbery. And he always claimed his innocence, that he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, well, that's what they all say. His prison record's clean. He even learned to trade while he was in the penitentiary. Clockmaking. Look, take it from me, you two. Tickerman is guilty. How do you know? Because I've been on the force as long as he's been in prison, and that's long enough to know... to know... To know what? When it's time to quit. I'm going to accept the review board's offer of early retirement. I'm really worried about the captain. Yeah, he has been acting a little bit strange lately, but I guess getting old can be a scary thing. Getting old doesn't scare me. Well, at least not as much as getting old alone does. Oh, come on, Darcy. You don't have to worry about that. I don't. Mm -mm. No, you and I are going to get old together. 
Taste. Mm. Needs more time. Uh. So you really think we'll grow all together? Oh yeah. You and I are gonna be going down the street in our walkers chasing bad guys. Yeah. Right. And speaking of bad guys, how do we catch this clockwise? We have to figure out who his next victim is. What do you mean his next victim? He's already gotten revenge on all 12 jurors. Yes, but he stole 14 microchips, which means there are two more people left on his hit list. So then the question is, who else does he blame? I don't know. <coughs> Too much time. Hey, I'll be the judge of that. The judge? We gotta get down to the criminal court's building. Why? He's going after Judge Cheatham. Oh, you're working a little late this evening. Oh, just uh, making sure this glass is clean, Your Honor. You can't hardly tell what time it is. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. I've never been much to watching a clock. Well, all that's about to change. Join me in a little nightcap. Oh, ain't no time for no libation or anything else. Oh, there's plenty of time. <laughs> it's only. Because every time we're together, time stands still. Oh, goodness. Oh. What is that thing? My own version of a stopwatch. Unfortunately, it's electromagnetic pulse. It can only stop it for three seconds, but that's long enough. Not if I beat you to the punch. Time's on my side. <laughs> Sorry to laugh, Scorpo, but I'm just all wound up. Maybe I can unwind you. That'll teach you to counter clockwise. You took the words right out of my mouth, detective. The evening's not a complete loss. You're coming with me, Black Scorpion. You know, it's nice to be a wanted woman, but there's something you should know about me. What's that? I play hard to get. Why is it that whenever we're out in public together, we always have to fight? Maybe it's because you always try to fool me! Join me in a cocktail? Maybe later, Your Honor. You know what's great about fighting you? What's that? You get the kiss and make up. Now, where did I put those olives? Blue, Blue, I'm here. What's the big emergency? Hey. I need you to run some tests on this. A microchip? It's one of the 14 clockwise stole. He tried to age Judge Cheatham with it. So what do you want me to do with it? I want you to reverse the process. Oh, yeah, no problem. And then after that, maybe I can find a cure for the common cold. Well, you have to try. 
So what are you gonna be doing while I'm searching for this high-tech fountain of youth? Same thing I've been doing, trying to figure out who his next victim's gonna be. Well, you're the detective. Detective? He's arresting officer. Is he still in the force? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh my god. Yeah, he's still on the force. But not for long. Hey! Slugger, Specs! What, Strickland's not in yet? No, but his, his mail is. It's in the box. How are we supposed to know? The same way you know all the cab's business. Now, come on, what's in it? His retirement watch. Oh, man, I tell you, the review board does not waste any time at all. Look at it, though. It's solid gold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Specs, what are you doing? Well, you asked. No, I didn't say take it out of the box. Come on, he's going to be here any minute. Oh, cat never gets in before what? Ten past? Yeah, and it's eight o'clock. We got plenty of time. Guys, I'm not so sure. All of a sudden, I don't feel so good. You know, neither do I. My vision's getting blurry. My body aches all over. <gasps> I just wet myself. It was 87. Happened. We're driving down. 87. Your brain is gone. Lane. A... No, I... it's gone. Hey, no. hey, what? Hey, hey. We He's... were in the car. He's an idiot. He's no. got no brain. No, He's no, an idiot. it was 87. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Who's the young Chippy? <laughs> That's no Chippy. That's all Marcy. Oh, whoa. <laughs> no, it's not Marcy. It's it's Farsi. You remember, right, Slugger? Yeah, I remember, but who's Slugger? Then what in the world? Oh. You know, Captain. Are you all right? I'm fine. What happened to them? Oh. Hello, Rafferty, Twenty Hertz Precinct. It's clockwise as well. Oh! I think it was meant for you. Then you know. This is all my fault. Just doing your job. No, but I didn't do it very well. Arresting Tickerman was the worst mistake I ever made. And well, that's saying a lot coming from me. Uh, hello! 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 Is anybody there? Hello! 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 Is anybody there? I got it. Walker, 21st Precinct. Blue, that's bad news. Argyle, is that you? Of course it's me. I had a little accident. What kind of accident? Well, Tender Lovin' was yapping, and I touched the wrong electrodes together, and well, uh... Don't tell me. Yeah, from now on, you're gonna be calling me Uncle Argyle. <laughs> well, who are you telling to call you Uncle? Hey, uh... Was that Veronica? It better not be some bouncy bikini-wearing beach bunny. You catch up! You know, the only upside of this blue is I've gone deaf in one ear. I can't hear tender loving yapping. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm trying to watch my program. Uh, you keep on, we'll hide your false teeth from oh, me next oh, time. You shut. Guy Manley is live at Angel Field for today's look at sports. Guy? Guy, sports fans. Sorry, but Guy is taking a timeout. <laughs> I'm clockwise with a countdown to catastrophe. Oh, quick, blue. Turn to town late. Uh, hold on, hold on. Give me that. You got a white thing. The police have taken Judge Cheatham into protective custody. No doubt part of their oath to serve and protect. However, the brave boys of blue will be serving the public better if they turn the judge over to me. Because if they don't, I'll be setting off this giant biological clock to make every last man and woman in the city of Angels old before his or her time. You have to the stroke of midnight to meet my demands. If you don't, I'll be the one to strike. Make no mistake, my plan will go off. Like clockwork. All right, I'll call you right back. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. No more talk. Here, kid. Oh, you got to be kidding. The plan will work, Judge. You actually expect me to turn myself over to that tick-tocking terrorist? <laughs> hey, try to say that three times fast.
Tick tarot talkerist. Talk tarot tick 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 tarot 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 tick tick. Boy, that is a twist on her. I mean, a tongue twister. Your Honor, you wouldn't be turning yourself over to him. It'd be a setup to flush him out of hiding. Once he shows his face, we'll move in and arrest him. Uh huh. And who's going to guarantee my safety? I will. <laughs> you? It's because of your complete and utter lack of competency as a police officer that we're in this mess in the first place. No offense. None taken. Now, wait a minute. You can't blame the captain for this. He's doing the best job he can. That's my point exactly. And his best is not good enough. So, uh, what can I get you to drink? <laughs> Don't let what the judge said get to you. Oh, believe me, he didn't say anything I haven't said to myself a million times before. Have I ever shown you my briefs? There's only one place clockwise can get more chips. Uh... The Phoenix Institute. Oh, well, then what are we waiting for? We? Help! Anyone out there? Can you hear me? Dr. Phoenix? Oh! Please! Your husband died! Please open! You press a button! What happened? Clockwise! He stole the chronogenetic velocirator, just as I was on the urge of making an important discovery. What kind of discovery? Well, I may have found a way to reverse the aging process. I thought you said that wasn't possible. Yes, for clockwise, but not for a genius like myself. I was on the cover of popular genetics, after all. Wow, this is great. Yes, my mother thought so, too. She stuck it up on her refrigerator so her fondue club could see it. <laughs> I think the captain was talking about your discovery. Well, at least now we don't have to worry about when to stop clockwise, because whatever damage he does, you're going to be able to undo. That's not exactly true, detective. You see, I was only halfway done with the microchip conversion. If clockwise uses it in its present state, well, he won't just age us. He will turn us into corpses. We're running out of time, Walker. My watch says quarter to 12. Mine says 11.30. Well, trust me. I set my watch every day at the corner of Cirrus and 3rd. Cirrus and 3rd? Yeah, you know, where the clock tower is. It's been there a hundred years and it's never been wrong. The clock tower, that's it. <gasps> take me a little time. A well, little time is all we got. You better get started. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? To radio for Chopper Patrol.
Scorpion. <laughs> this game of beat the clock isn't over. Ah, oh, but you wouldn't, wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you? Well, in your case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> nah, nah. of stopping. Fortunately for me, when I take a licking, I keep right on ticking. Uh, the same thing can't be said for you. Roman Strickland. It's Captain Strickland. Now, and I'm not as old as you'd like. Your biological clock didn't get to me. Oh, uh, you mean the years have done this to you? <laughs> Time is a cruel mistress. The point is, now you'll never get your revenge on me. Is that so? Not as long as you've got that chronogenetic accelerator aimed at the city. Ah, well. Now, ah. it's aimed at you. How does it feel to be in the wrong place at the wrong time? Turn off that machine. I'll turn it off when it's half past. Never! Then you leave me no choice. What? What, what, what are you doing? Killing time. discovers the fountain of youth by the time I get old. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you, baby. Why not? Because you are going to be fine at any age, and I know from experience. <laughs> so you don't care if my hair goes gray? You'll be a silver fox no matter what age you are, <laughs> and I'll be the fox catcher. <laughs> you still look scary. <clears throat> Hello, Durst. Well, it's nice to see that you guys are back to yourselves again. You mean back to our young selves? Yeah, you're kind of bumming me out. I was kind of looking forward to retiring. Oh, speaking of which, where's Captain? He's in his office, packing. What? He's quitting? Even after he helped Black Scorpion save the city? The city wouldn't have needed to be saved if I hadn't arrested Tickerman in the first place. Oh, come on, Captain, you were a young cop. I mean, young cops make mistakes. We do it every day. Some of us a little more than others. She talking to us? The fact is that you learned from your mistakes. And actually, we've learned from them, too. All right, Walker. You've convinced me. I'm going to stay right here and keep making mistakes so that you guys can be better cops. Uh, well, that's not exactly what I meant. Slugger, Specs, bring these boxes. Help me unpack. Hey, give me that back. Yeah, pick up the boxes. Oh. Hey, Walker. Why the long face? Is something wrong? Oh, I don't know. The 
this whole thing has just got me thinking about getting older. Are you still worried about being alone? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I... It would be nice to have somebody. Oh, come on. I told you. We will have each other. As partners? Um, I think I know how Clockwise would answer that. How? Only time will tell. Hello? Anybody? Hello? <laughs>